Hey YouTube, it's Michael with Cool Breeze. Today I'm gonna show you how to rig up a float switch, a primary and secondary float switch. This right here is your primary float switch next to your primary drain. This in the, con in the, this in the corner is your secondary float switch. What a float switch does is it's a power passing device and it helps to see if your primary drain gets clogged or anything like that then it'll cut the power and it won't flood the system or nothing like that. So we ensure that we put two of these on here, two safety switches to make sure that our customer is safe and nothing happens. You see all these machines next to us. We don't want anything to happen to those. So we make sure that we put two flow switches alongside a drain pan just to make sure there's no water damage. So next thing is you have the wire. You have two wires going up on each flow switch. What we're gonna end up doing is we're gonna end up rigging these in series, not parallel, but series basically a whole circle so we can start right here I have my 24 volt or 27 volt red hot wire coming from my thermostat bring up to one it doesn't matter which one of my wires for my float switch then it comes out of here comes down to the float switch right here and I have this off what this does is it's a normally closed switch that when water is filled up in here it lifts this up making it to where it's an open switch. No power can pass through it, cutting the power to the system. So it passes through here to this second wire right here, through this, and then the float right here is on this side, up, back again, right back through here, in here, and it's connected to my board. So what that does is if there's any water or anything like that, that is trapped in this float switch in either one of them, then it will raise that float up, cut the power, and not let the unit turn on, making it to where there will not be any water damage at all. Thank you.